Hi, it's Daniel Ramey with Circo Innovations. Today is episode four of What Can We Build With This Cart? Today we have the PVC fishing cart. Let's get into it. Some of the benefits with this PVC cart is you have adjustable rod holders. As you can see, we just popped this in right here. This can easily be adjusted. Be put on any angle. Come off the side here like that. Also, you have good access to your ice chest. You pull that out. We also changed the design so we can get to it easier. Reach down, and you have this area right here to lift out. You don't have to reach over the whole top. Going over the back here, you also have some room for like chairs, other supplies. You can snap on your, uh, your shade cover here, just right there with some snap crosses. All around good design. Right, now we're gonna transform this design into the fishing cart. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and take this off while we're here. The setup that we had up top here that we took off, we're just gonna be lowering down to this level. So we're gonna make that happen. So the three poles that were going straight up, we cut them down to 16 and a half inches, and that's gonna be perfect height. Next step, we're gonna go over here. We have our slip T. We're gonna be replacing it with an L. So we're gonna be taking these slip T's off, making a cut on this pipe, and put this L on both sides. All right, we ended up cutting this to 22 inches. So now we're gonna cut this one, and we'll be set on the back half. Placing our second 22 inch section here for the rear of the cart. We're using the L's off the handle on the original cart design so you won't need to get any more L's. We'll just tighten it up with a hammer. All right, this is the assembly for the handle. We need two sections cut to six inches long, two sections cut to two and three quarters inches long. We need two sections cut to nine inches long, and we need one cut to 10 inches long. You're gonna be using a total of six elbows. After you get your handle all adjusted with all the turns and edges, get it all fully seated. And then we suggest using uh, screws to hold it in place or glue if it's a long-term design that you don't want to take apart in the, in the future. So the places we really suggest, make sure it's really firm, is right here, here, all these sections that are going to be having torque on them, and then also the full handle assembly. Next, we'll be adding a wheel assembly to the middle of the cart. To accomplish that, the first thing you need to do is take out the two slip T's that run in line with the crosses. From there, you need to add two more of the crosses on each side. Next, you will get your pipe and crosses completely horizontal. Make sure they are fully seated against the T's above it. Now we have that cross there. We have our internal caster here. We're putting it in. Problem is we have this wheel we want to put in, but it touches this pipe right here and it comes through the slip cross. What we're going to do, we're going to put this in just like this, we're going to 
take a drill bit. After both sets of your tires are fully seated, screw back in your grizzly board. Before adding any load to the cart, we suggest using self-tapping screws or glue to finalize and strengthen the design. In this section here, we're showing you how you can easily mount your fishing poles to the cart by simply using snap crosses and PVC pipe. Something else I like about this PVC design is it has lots of room for other tackle and supplies. Say you're doing multiple trips down to the lake, you put your kayak on the top here, all your fishing tackle, your food, your ice chest, it'll all fit. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to check out the other three episodes of What Can We Build With This Cart. The first one being a PVC trash cart, the next one being a PVC barn cart, and lastly, PVC generator cover. Let us know in the comments what other ideas you have for this cart.